Hi everyone, it is week four of the high school football season and Chad, a lot of good teams to talk about in this edition of our WKBN Power Rankings, including four teams that have already racked up enough computer points to be number one in their region. We have a grand total of 17 teams that are still undefeated. We have seven teams ranked in the state top 10 and we have three newcomers to our WKBN Power Rankings this week. Speaking of, let's get right to it. Our number 10 ranked team heading into week four of the high school football season. The Southern Local Indians, they come in number one in Region 21, and the Indians have already maxed more computer points than all but three teams in all of Division 6 across the state. They're winning by an average of 21 points per game, and they will start league play this week with Toronto, which is interesting. That's one of the teams that beat them last year. Absolutely. Moving on, our number nine ranked team heading into week four, Cardinal Mooney. The Cardinals are up one spot in this week's power rankings after holding off Columbus to sales 1918. The cards piled up more than 300 yards rushing between Jason Santisi and Joey Velasquez. Up next, a tough go. Dates with Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary and Boardman. Both of those games will be at home. Our number eight ranked team, another newcomer to our WKBN power rankings this week, the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Now they are not exactly lighting up the scoreboard this year, but they are certainly keeping people off of it. The Falcons allowing just under eight points per game. They will headline our WKBN game of the week this Friday night when they host Warren Harding. Moving on, our number seven ranked team this week, the Wilmington Greyhounds. The Greyhounds are running the football at will, averaging over 315 yards per game, allowing less than 65 yards per game on the ground defensively, and they're fresh off a huge 66-19 route of Northwestern last week. At number six, once again in the power rankings this week, the Girard Indians. They are coming off a dominant performance against Warren JFK with a 47 to nothing route of the Eagles. Mark Wade was nearly perfect in that game. 20 of 22 passing for 430 plus yards and four touchdowns. And the good news for Girard, their next three games will come against winless opponents. Moving on, our number five ranked team heading into week number four, the Grove City Eagles. The Eagles are scoring at will, to put it plainly. They're averaging 52 points per contest, and they are fresh off a 48-0 win over Corey. Defensively, they've been pretty darn good as well, allowing less than 150 total yards per game this season. At number four this week, how about a three-way tie for the fourth spot between the big three of the MVAC. We're talking about McDonald's, Springfield, and Western Reserve. We're ranking all of them number three because they're so similar in what they've done through the non-conference portion of their schedule. All of them with wins over Columbiana, two of them beat Brookfield by nearly the same margin. All three teams winning by an average of 24 to 30 points per game and allowing around nine. And things will get very serious very quick in week number five when McDonald and Springfield match up against each other. And those three, by the way, not only are they 3-0, and they are dominant in their league. The rest of the league, a combined 1-14. and Moving on, our number three ranked team heading into week number four, the LeBray Vikings. The Vikings rolled past Lakeview 49-13 last week. They are putting up an average of 48 points per game, and certainly things look good in the next two weeks. Their next two contests are against squads without a win in both Camel and Champion. At number two again this week, it is the Hubbard Eagles, who are also coming off a dominant win over Edgewood. Consider this stat. The Eagles scored six touchdowns on their first eight plays in this game. Senior quarterback Davion Daniels led the way with six total touchdowns. The Eagles are averaging over 57 points per game. And for the second straight week, our number one ranked team here at WKBN, Chad, the Feral Steelers. And with good reason. They rolled past Union City last week by a whopping final score of 70-6. to six. The Steelers rushed for 263 yards. They passed for 246, amassing 500 yards of total offense. They forced and recovered a total of five fumbles. Feral is the number one team in the state in Class A in Pennsylvania, and they are once again number one in our power rankings. And of course, we're going to have some tough decisions in the upcoming weeks because we've got a lot of good teams we haven't even talked about yet, eight of which are still undefeated. Canfield, Pola, Newton Falls, just to name a few, all of them undefeated in the AAC. This is the time of year when the cream of the crop rises in the stretch run of the season. Not to mention in Division 7, how about Valley Christian off to a 3-0 start? The Eagles, the number one ranked team in their region as well. And over in the Eastern Buckeye, 
Sky Conference. There are only two teams left undefeated in that conference, and they are both local, Salem and West Branch. We'll hear much more from them, I'm sure, in the upcoming weeks. But make sure you tune in here every Wednesday for our WKBN Power Rankings.